Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier with a very quick rundown of some confusing features within Star Citizen. With a mixture of controller types, weapon aiming options, and even head tracking in VR, Star Citizen has struggled to offer that single perfect configuration that's right for everyone. And because of that, we have some cryptically named options within the menu that I wanted to explain today. Let's begin first with some background. Normally, mouse and keyboard pilots will opt for a gimbaled loadout, capitalizing on the mouse's inherited ability as an aiming device. And normally, joystick pilots will opt for a fixed loadout, relying solely on the alignment of the craft to aim the weapons. In order to balance the disparity between the two common types, CIG has implemented a rule. Gimbals cost a size. That rule is not limited to a controller type. Mouse pilots can load fixed, and joystick pilots can load gimbals. For example, you could have a fixed size 3 weapon, or opt for a gimbaled size 2. On the whole, the change made sense, and if you want more detail on that, I have a link in the description for you. Alright, so the point of the background was to help identify why we have all these extra modes. Let's start with Look Ahead Mode. Look Ahead Mode offers the pilot lead aiming with gimbals. It's not remotely as effective as keyboard and mouse, but it does offer the joystick pilot control over gimbaled weapons. You're going to see an aiming mark just like a keyboard and mouse. The mode is on by default, which for joystick pilots is a mistake. Most pilots, as part of the routine, will disable it immediately. This should be a preference toggle that's persistent in the options menu, just like lag pips. You can toggle it with right alt and M. I would personally never trade weapon size for the ability to aim, but that's because I fly with the joystick. With lots of practice, I was able to learn the muscle memory that I needed to aim the weapons with the craft. If you fly joystick with the mode on, I suggest that you try a larger fixed arrangement. Put some time into it and see if it's better. On to target focus. There's a feature called target focus, whose sole purpose is to align the pilot's view towards the selected enemy. This allows a pilot to simulate having head tracking or VR. The default HUD indicator will display an arrow in the direction of the selected enemy. Because of this, I never use target focus. I'll simply rely on that arrow. I see this mainly as an aid to situational awareness. You could use it to quickly locate the selected enemy and then turn it off. Not my personal taste, I just wanted to offer an instance where it might be useful. I'm going to mention reticle focus because it's confusingly similar to target focus. Reticle is the proper name for aiming gradient lines within an optical sighting system. In this case, it's simply an aiming mark. Reticle focus will select the closest object within the aiming mark. It's very useful for quickly changing targets. Let's say you and your wingman encounter three enemy ships. You both hit T to get nearest enemy, and then he calls up the same target that you have selected. You could easily aim onto the next enemy, and then use reticle focus instead of fumbling around with the next enemy selection system. Reticle focus is R in 2.6. While we're on this subject, I want to quickly talk about some other targeting functions. Nearest hostile is T. Next and last enemy is Y and H. Next and last friendly is U and J. Next and last all targets is I and K. Pin toggle is P. This will add the selected object to a hot list and highlight it in the HUD. Next and last pinned object is O and L. This will scroll you forward and backwards through the list of pinned targets. If there's only one, it'll behave like a memory recall. You can use this to highlight a wingman or a ship that you're supposed to escort. I hope this very quickly clears up any confusion. With this video, I'm also highlighting a series of older videos that I did a year ago. The voice quality was not the best, but the information in the videos is mostly current. If you have a friend who's just starting out, I hope they're able to get a head start here with my channel. All the links that you need are in the description. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.